And this is Reese about two weeks after she was born in 2017. He doesn't fit his own stereotype. This is Anna Lauren, my amazing wife. A successful attorney. I've been an attorney for 13 years. Struggling with mental illness. About 10 years ago, I wanted to quit my legal career. John I Boylston says he hadn't been happy in happy. years. And I couldn't tell what was work and what was life, and so it was kind of what was me. And so then a friend convinced him to see a therapist. Turns out, he has generalized anxiety and a form of depression, actually, like a lot of attorneys. I have a stressful job, and so, it, you know, people expect to be stressed out when they have a stressful job. Through therapy and medication, he discovered law is his calling. It was really clear to me that I had never heard a story like my own. And I think that's probably why I took so long to get help or even realize that something was going on. That's why he's sharing his truth in ASHA International's My Story, My Superpower show next week. Molly Vanderwerf will be on stage two. My story starts out when I was in high school. She got caught up in the wrong crowd and was abusing drugs and booze. It was hard to get out of. Molly started to have panic attacks and was depressed and anxious. And then her dad passed away. It was out of nowhere. And, and a few so, years later, she had her first manic episode. I was in the hospital, I think, three different times. Thanks to her family and support system, she was finally diagnosed and treated for bipolar disorder. Today, Molly is stable, practicing and teaching yoga. I want to learn more. Has become her outlet. More, so I can help myself, but also so I can help other people. She can empower others battling similar demons by talking about it. I'm here to try and, you know, pave the way for other people. I want to turn it into something positive rather than, you know, negative and, and hide from it and be ashamed of it. Molly John and the other storytellers are claiming their superpowers, freeing themselves and others, helping end the stigma around mental illness. I think about my fear of other people thinking that they're less because they suffer from anxiety or that they can't have the career they want because they suffer from anxiety. And so I want to make sure that they know there are examples we can do it. Along with this event, John says he's working with the state bar to educate attorneys and encourage dialogue about mental illness and its prevalence in the field. In Molly, she visits local high schools with ASHA to talk with teens about mental health. She says she gets really great feedback from those teenagers. The storytelling show is free and will be at Intel Hawthorne Farms Auditorium in Hillsborough next Wednesday from 7 to 9. We have details in the story on our website, kgw.com.